Good morning. Please keep in your prayers uh, Janet Ramella's granddaughter, Gia. Also, um, Charles Brewer and Ima Jean McDivitt have joined the church triumphant. Are there any other announcements? Go ahead, Robin. I'll repeat it. Go ahead. If anybody would like to help with the dinners on Wednesday nights for our youth group, um, please see Robin. Any other announcements? Wonderful. Please stand while we continue to worship. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Blessed be the Holy Trinity, one God, abounding in steadfast love toward us, healing the sick and raising the dead, showering us with every good gift. Amen. Let us confess our sin in the presence of God and of one another. Just and gracious God, we come to you for healing and life. Our sins hurt others and diminish us. We confess them to you. Our lives bear the scars of sin. We bring these also to you. Show us your mercy, O God. Bind up our wounds, forgive us our sins, and free us to love for the sake of Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. The Apostle Paul assures us, when we were dead in our trespasses, God made us alive together with Christ, nailing the record of our sin to the cross. Jesus says to you, your sins are forgiven. Be at peace and tell everyone how much God has done for you. Amen. love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all.
Let us pray. Direct us, O Lord God, in all your doings with your continual help, that in all our works, begun, continued, and ended in you, we may glorify your holy name, and finally, by your mercy, bring us to everlasting life. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, amen. Please be seated for the readings. The first reading is taken from Deuteronomy chapter 30. See, I have set before you today life, prosperity, death, and adversity. If you obey the commandments of the Lord your God that I am commanding you today by loving the Lord your God, walking in his ways, and observing his commandments, decrees, and ordinances, then you shall live and become numerous. And the Lord your God will bless you in the land that you are entering to possess. But if your heart turns away and you do not hear, but are led astray to bow down to other gods and serve them, I declare to you today that you shall perish. You shall not live long in the land you are crossing the Jordan to enter and possess. I call heaven and earth to witness against you today that I have set before you life and death blessings and curses. Choose life so that you and your descendants may live, loving the Lord your God, obeying him, and holding fast to him. For that means life to you and length of days, so that you may live in the land that the Lord swore to give your ancestors, to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob. The word of the Lord. Be Please join me in reading responsively Psalm 1. Happy are they who have not walked in the counsel of the wicked, nor lingered in the way of sinners, nor sat in the seats of the scornful. They are like trees planted by streams of water, bearing fruit in due season, with leaves that do not wither. Everything they do shall prosper. Therefore the wicked shall not stand upright when judgment comes, nor the sinner in the counsel of the righteous. For the Lord knows the way of the righteous, but the way of the wicked shall be destroyed. The second reading is from Philemon. Paul, a prisoner of Christ Jesus, and Timothy, our brother, to Philemon, our dear friend and co-worker, to Aphia, our sister, to Archippus, our fellow soldier, and to the church in your house. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. When I remember you in my prayers, I always thank God because I hear of your love for all the saints and your faith toward the Lord Jesus. I pray that the sharing of your faith may become effective when you perceive all the good that we may do for Christ. I have indeed received much joy and encouragement from your love because the hearts of the saints have been refreshed through you, my brother. For this reason, though I am bold enough in Christ to command you to do the, your duty, yet I would rather appeal to you on the basis of love. And I, Paul, do this as an old man and now also a prisoner of Christ Jesus. I am appealing to you for my child Onesimus, whose father I have become during my imprisonment. Formerly he was useless to you, but now he is indeed useful to both you and to me. I am sending him, that is my own heart, back to you. I wanted to keep him with me so that he might be of service to me in your place during my imprisonment for the gospel, but I preferred to do nothing without your consent in order that your good deed might be voluntary and not something forced. Perhaps this is the reason he was separated from you for a while, so that you might have him back forever, no longer as a slave, but more than a slave, a beloved brother, especially to me, but how much more to you, both in the flesh and in the Lord. 
So if you consider me your partner, welcome him as you would welcome me. If he has wronged you in, in any way or owes you anything, charge that to my account. I, Paul, am writing this with my own hand. I will repay it. I say nothing about your owing me, even your own self. Yes, brother, let me have this benefit from you in the Lord. Refresh my heart in Christ, confident of your obedience. I am writing to you, knowing that you will do even more than I say. The word of the Lord. gospel is written in the 14th chapter of Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Now large crowds were traveling with Jesus, and he turned and said to them, Whoever comes to me and does not hate father and mother, wife and children, brothers and sisters, yes, and even life itself, cannot be my disciple. Whoever does not carry the cross and follow me cannot be my disciple. For which of you, intending to build a tower, does not first sit down and estimate the cost, to see whether he has enough to complete it? Otherwise, when he has laid a foundation and is not able to finish, all who see it will begin to ridicule him, saying, This fellow began to build and was not able to finish. Or what king, going out to wage war against another king, will not sit down first and consider whether he is able with 10,000 to oppose the one who comes against him with 20,000. If he cannot, then while the other is still far away, he sends a delegation and asks for the terms of peace. So therefore, none of you can become my disciples if you do not give up all your possessions. The Gospel of our Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. Please be seated. Are there any kids to help me out with a Labor Day weekend message? Please bring your shovels. Bring your shovels and your picks. You ready to work? Are you? What do you have? Oh, thank you. Yes, we'll take that. No, we won't take that. That's for you. Come on up. Join us for the work. You guys ready to work? Huh? You ready to work? Can you guys go like this? Oh, I can set you up on a bench in front of a window. Oh, yes. Hi. Can you go like this? Oh, I know some sidewalks to sweep. Hmm? The laborers. You know that word, the work, the labors of all of these people at Grace Church sent me to Israel a couple years ago. And I was in the garden where Jesus was and we had Holy Communion. And they gave this to us. It was filled with wine at Holy Communion. Why don't you pass it around, take a look at it. It's just a olive wood cup. But somebody made that. That was their labor. And it probably cost them maybe five cents to make. And they could sell it to pilgrims like me, maybe for a couple bucks. And that would be a way for their labor to be rewarded. And they would get a means to live. Hmm? So do you know what was filled in that cup? What was in that cup for Holy Communion? Wine? What else? What did this cup possess? It possessed somebody's work. Jesus' work. His presence. 
is in the Holy Communion. It fills our cup of life and makes our labor worthwhile. Amen? Will you join me in a prayer? Uh-oh, we've got a renegade. <laughs> He's got that Oreo orange on. That's what it is. He's flying like a bird. Dear Jesus, will you pray with me? Dear Jesus, fill our cups with your labor. Help us to love that you possess us. Amen. Thank you all for helping. Thank you. Well done. Bye-bye.